Hello friends, I am Hashim Beg here. So today I am gonna teach you how can you create 3D holographic images with Adobe Photoshop. So let me first make sure that what can you really create after um, watching this tutorial. So yes, you will be able to create images like this one after you have learned the techniques uh, I will teach you in this tutorial. So if you like this pic, then stay tuned to watch the video. okay so first of all open a uh, adobe photoshop np document uh, i have set the resolution to 1080p you can choose your own okay then uh, go to custom shape tool and select round rectangle tool now draw a rectangle a moderate size here make sure that you select the stroke to none a bar and a fill to black you can select the color from here for this tutorial i'm choosing green you can choose your own okay this will be good don't worry it will look like that make the opacity to about 54% okay it's pretty good now duplicate this layer by dragging it here this one now with this layer with the below layer selected select the shape tool again and this time choose fill with no none and this time we will have to make a stroke line select the point to one two or one one it will be fine okay now watch closely go to um, double click this layer below first name it best for convenience border double click this layer go to outer glow choose the glow color and make the size let's increase it and so you can see that the color is spreading from the edges let's make opacity 100 well these are just for convenience you can choose all the settings just as you like right here now we have a little bright color near the edges which fades slowly in the middle we can increase this size okay this is really very good okay so we are done with our two layers of border and rounded rectangle in my image that i have created earlier i have a map in the middle of this 3d hologram so we will now go to create this map I have downloaded an image which is very much accurate for this 3D hologram so I will drop the link in the description don't worry let's open this image in Adobe Photoshop select this image and paste it here 
make it above the layer control and left um, press control T compress it compress it now go to layer and select multiply okay now go to the opacity section and decrease the opacity to well it is all your choice okay it's nice now we can see that the border is now looking much lighter so we can make it more bright we can also increase its size okay now it's bright enough so the next part we come to is the section from which the light came from my watch now we are going to create this light that is coming from my watch now watch closely just go to this pen tool first create a new layer place it right here name it watch white main green that first just for convenience just for convenience you can name all these things name this one to map okay so in watch light click the watch light layer and start drawing a light here done select the color for this so you can note the uh, hexa code of color so that you can apply exact same color for accurate results the code is 25d911 okay so now we have to make the uh, edges of the shadow of the light coming from my watch a bit softer now double click the layer of watch light and go to inner gloss section make sure you click it if you haven't and go to the size and you can see that the size of opacity of my edges is increasing so make these settings accordingly it's good okay so we are almost done let us see my picture okay so you can see that in the picture um in this picture and uh, the light coming from my watch is white and it uh, fades to green slowly so now we are going to make this one double click the watch light layer and go to gradient overlay just select the gradient showing here select here create a new okay now you are going to create a new layer name this one holograph or whatever you want now select the colors as i will show you okay and white will be here
and make it reverse mm. okay so we are almost done with this section um, now we have to apply this one to this image I have an image of mine here um, now uh, now you are done with this section you have almost created the holograph for your image now save this one as PSD PSD template now save it as dot png file save ok done now go to your folder open this png file right here okay. on the selected section and press perspective now hold one side of your image and wrap like this okay Control T once again and this time we're going to make it a bit larger and a bit more here so now you can see that the um, the look of this image is very very real there is a curve effect which can make it look a real holograph just to go to this shape tool once more select the shape of ellipse stroke to zero fill to white and draw a nice little ellipse right here make its opacity to 50 or 71 or whatever you like go to outer glow spread it increase the size increase the opacity and you are done okay so it is a bit different than I have created earlier but it is also good I will drop the link to the templates of both this one and this one so that you can create a ready-made template for your own pictures you don't have to design all this graphic to yourself whatever I have done is uh, video uh, I will drop the link of the uh, templates uh, you can use them uh, for your own pictures they are free of credits so that um, you don't have to credit me for this one but it will be good if you do so thanks for watching my video 
लाइक बिलो कमेंट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू सी मोर इफ यू हैव एनी रिक्वेस्ट डेट यू वॉन्ट मी टू क्रिएट फॉर यू देन डू लेट मी नो इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल रिप्लाई टू ईच एंड एवरी कमेंट ऑफ योर्स सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो